Hi, this is Matt with StormPulse.com, and this is video tutorial number two, showing you how to use our new JavaScript API to control StormPulse maps and add your very own data. In this tutorial, we're going to show how to add uh, markers using a few more of the extra options, um, changing label sizes and colors, and also how to move locations once they're added to the map. Here's my JavaScript window. Type in commands. First thing we need to do is to get the map into a variable, var map equals new sp.map. Let me pass the name of the div, which is always storm false at this point. And remember that we can also use the API to control layers. So we're going to do map.hideclouds just to clean up our view a little bit. And this is Hurricane Ivan from 2004. Let's add a marker, var marker equals new sp. Markers are set to latitude and longitude. And in this case, we do 27.5, make it 88.0. And we're also going to give a name here, uh, Seahorse. And we're going to add that marker to the map map.add overlay marker. There it is. Now, even though I added this location with the API, it's still a first class location. So we treat it that way on the map, and we're giving you the distance uh, from the current position of the storm to that location, in this case 98 miles, um, which means just outside of the hurricane force winds here, 74 to 140 miles an hour also shows us that it's directly in the path of the forecasted storm. So now that we have one location added to the map, why don't we go ahead and add another. And this time we're going to use a few more options. We'll call it marker2. It's new sp.marker. And we're going to give it a latitude and longitude again. Let's do 20. 7.4, negative 8.7. And now I'll pass in some options here. So the name, we're going to call this one Thor. Sounds strong to me. And give it a type. This is some extra information you can add. We're going to call this a drilling platform. Very valuable piece of equipment. I'm going to change the color instead of the default black which is this one. We can use any color we want. So let's make this one about red. And we can also change the size of the label. So let's do a little bit larger than normal. Let's do 14. So we, I just ran the code to create a marker. And again, we do map.add overlay. This time, marker 2. And there's our new location, 106 miles from the storm currently. And let's pretend that a seahorse is a ship that's able to move. We can also update locations. So if we're using Ajax in JavaScript to uh, grab new GPS coordinates for Seahorse, we can also pass that information into the map to move uh, the location on the map without reloading the page. So let's do marker dot set lat launch. We'll pass in a new latitude launch too. This time now it's at 77.5. Five, nine, and negative 88.2. Run. So we see that Seahorse shifted a little bit to the northwest, and we can move it again. Again. So as your data changes, you can change position of your objects on the map. 
All right. Now, if you remember, we added some additional information to Thor. If I click, you see the type information here. Now, this box can be filled with type, address, uh, postal code, and even a link if we had uh, more information to add. Uh, the full documentation for the API will soon be available on our website. Uh, if you'd like more information for now, you can email us, contact at stormpulse.com. Thanks for watching.